Hey, it's Rick. I'm back for Pajama Crafter Stamps today, and we're going to tackle the faux shaker card. So, this is what we're going to make. We're going to use the Happy Beach Critter stamp set, and I've got my pattern paper cut and my shaker window, quote-unquote, cut. Um, so, I'm going to stamp my sentiments first. I chose the stopping by to hope you have for the inside of the window, and then the an amazing day at the bottom of it. So I've just stamped that down in some of my favorite black ink. It's the verse font on it's clear. I usually use that or the nocturne. I'm going to add my pattern paper to the center of my card front. I just cut a card front panel right there. I like to do that. And for the shaker faux shaker window, we're going to go ahead and add one millimeter foam tape to the back of that. So I'm just going to treat it like a normal shaker. I'm not good with shaker cards. No matter what I do, no matter how close I get all my foam adhesive, Rick always, when he goes to shake it, there's a gap somewhere and it just goes everywhere. So this was, I had been seeing these on YouTube for a while and I thought, hey, that's an interesting concept. And I had the parts and pieces all together. So I was like, let's go ahead and try this today. So, we're going to go ahead and line up our shaker window over our faux shaker window, I should say. Over our panel, I'm going to add my little turtle right there on my card. This is the little female turtle. I put, pop her head up on some foam tape. I pop my little boy right there. And I'm going to take and add my little crab right here with some foam tape behind a part of his body that's going to be hanging off into the window. And we're just going to peel those backing off, add a little liquid glue. Be careful that the foam tape is super sticky, by the way, in case you didn't know. Apparently, Rick did not know that, and he got it stuck to his finger for several minutes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add in our shaker window here. And we're going to add our shaker bits. I chose the girlfriend's best friend's girl, yeah. Girls Best Friends Rhinestones, and I'm just going to, um, I added several dots of liquid glue into where I want it to be, my shaker part, and I did most of those at the bottom. That way it looks like a shaker card that's standing up, and because everything's fell down. So I'm just popping in my little rhinestones using a pickup tool for my stash. So we're just going to pop those on anywhere I had glue. You do have to work a little fast with the liquid glue because it does dry super fast. I did have to go back and add some more where I had originally put some uh, because it dried. So like right there, right there. I did come back in and add, fill in some gaps in the bottom part. Um, so that's something you're going to want to do is fill in some gap. And you can totally use different color rhinestones, multiple colors if you want to. I added some, a couple at the top. And to finish my card off, I'm adding just a few gel pen highlights on all my little critters here i adored the stamp set i actually bought this myself um, because i liked it so much i thought it was super cute so uh, even as part of the design team i bought this um there is i'm gonna add some glitter to my little um, critters my little cute little animals i'm gonna add my little glitter in there and we're just gonna pop this uh, right on there pop that glitter on the every one of them because, you know, we are from the south, and we do have to have some glitter going on. Heaven forbid we don't have no glitter. All right, I'm going to attach this to a top-folding A2 card base. My card front, I did just put that onto a panel. And then I just attached it to my card base. I find that a lot easier. There's a look at the card. Here's a closer look at the card. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Hey, stay crafty.